this special edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Uh, we're going to spend some time with uh, Keith Goldberg. He's the general manager of Rustneck Westlake Porsche. And um, we're going to be talking about something that I guess it's sad. Uh, we're going to talk about the um, we're going to talk about honoring all first responders and we're going to say responders from coast to coast, but specifically the responders at the borderline uh, uh, restaurant that happened a number of years ago here in the Thousand Oaks Westlake area. Keith, welcome to Late Night Health. Thank you for having me, Mark. Tell us about what's going on. You have a tribute rally honoring the first responders, specifically, I think, one uh, one uh, first responder. So this is our second annual rally. It's called the Hero Rally. Mm -hmm. And the first rally, we designed a custom Porsche to mimic a Ventura County Sheriff's Patrol unit. So it was actually a Porsche police car. And that tribute came to honor Sergeant Ron Helis, who was the first responder to the borderline bar and grill who lost his life saving others. And that car was designed to, you know, pay tribute to him, honor him, but also raise funds for the Ventura County Sheriff's Foundation uh, to support the building and construction of the Helis Tactical Training Facility. And so that car did its job. And, you know, we raised a considerable amount of money for that. And that facility is now under construction. This second rally, we designed a hero car, which we dubbed the Hero 911, to pay tribute to all first responders. Because if you think about what all responders, first responders have to go through, and especially with COVID-19, you know, they, they definitely, you know, sacrificed their time and energy and, and, and some lives, you know, for, the, for others. And right. so this, instead of just honoring the sergeant and the Ventura County Sheriff's Department, we decided to design a car that would salute and pay tribute to all first responders. So particularly locally, like you mentioned, it's Ventura County Sheriff's Department, it's the Ventura County Fire Department, it's the EMT, the paramedics, AMR Gold Coast, which is you know, all the ambulances and helicopters that transport people that are in you know, crisis need of medical care. And so the car has made some appearances thus far. We did a, a Ron Helis rally that is local that's called Back the Blue. There was 400 motorcycles led by the Hero 911. Wow. Like, yeah, 400 yeah. motors. Yeah. And uh, we visited every single police station in Ventura County uh, to support in, you know, the first responders. So this car, although the new car, which you can see on our website, to get the visual, it's uh, PorscheWestlake.com. And there's a drop down in one of the menus that says Hero 911. And you can see the work uh, that the team did to design this car and bring it to fruition. And we have that website up on our screen right now. If you want to go over and take a look at that that car um, and find out more about the upcoming rally. And there, I think there's several events until the big rally, which is when? When is the big rally? So the big rally is upcoming this August 7th. It starts in the morning about 8.15. Uh, it's about a two hour rally. Kickoff is at nine. We're going to leave Westlake Village. We tour through the canyons over to Malibu, Malibu up the Pacific Coast Highway, and then coming back through Ventura County, eventually winding up at a fantastic venue called Hummingbird Ranch. And if you don't know what Hummingbird Ranch is, you should Google it and see it. It's a marvelous property with beautiful scenery and backdrop and landscaping. It's a 126 acre uh, private estate. Wow, that's terrific. Um, the last car rally, and I'm putting that in quotes, was uh, when I was a kid in high school, uh, we used to uh, watch uh, uh, cars on Van Nuys Boulevard. Now, you may not remember that because you're younger, and I think they still do something over there. What is a car rally? Tell us exactly what that entails. So it's people that, well, obviously they enjoy driving their car. They're, they're very proud of their cars. It's not required to drive a Porsche, just to make that clear. You drive any car, it's, it's more for the cause and not the car. But it's getting out and getting out to do something and, and enjoy what you do in driving. And 
And it's kind of a friendship, a circle of influence per se, where people get together and, and do different, different rides to different places and tour different parts of the, of the uh, state. Uh, the, um, you know, I can't, I can't believe it's been four years uh, since the tragedy at, um, at the nightclub, at, um, uh, at Borderline. Borderline was very popular. Uh, it, uh, the college kids would, I think, I think the day that the, the event happened, uh, it was a college night and they do the uh, country line dancing and they it, it was just a, a a great place for people to to meet and greet eat maybe a little bit drink a little bit um and have fun and then this horrific thing happened why did rusnick westlake decide to step up so that night that it happened, I mean, I'm not saying my, my kids could have been there, but uh, my children did frequent borderline. They had friends there that were there that night oh. at the, that got out alive. I mean, they got out alive because Thank of Sergeant. God. And so I wanted to do something that would raise awareness. I found out about the Sheriff's Foundation uh, and their efforts to raise money. And I figured, what, what better idea than to make a portion to a police car <laughs> and then bring awareness and use it to raise money? And also, it was fun to do. I mean, let's, you know, it's, it's kind of when you're driving, you know, a, a Porsche 911 cop car down the 101, you know, you see a lot of brake lights. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, yeah. Do you get to drive it? Uh... I, I particularly drive it the most, probably 99% of the time, because, you know, it's, it's, it's my creation and I know about it and I can speak the most intelligently about it and the cause. So I'm kind of a spokesperson for the car and, and, and for the events. And so you're the I, general manager, you're the boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. What can people do if they would like to, one, participate in the rally? So how you participate is you go to helisrally.com and that's H-E-L-U-S-R-A-L-L-Y.com. And it has a homepage and an about page and all the details. And that's where you can uh, sign up for the rally itself. And it can, you can drive, as long as your car moves, you as can participate. You can participate. And just for clarification, uh, some of the questions that have come up is the entry fee per person or is it per vehicle? And the entry fees per vehicle up to two people. And we also provide two gourmet lunches uh, at the event at the Hummingbird Ranch. So people have asked, well, can I you know, enroll two cars if my kids wanna drive? And, and the answer is yes. And what about just making a donation and showing up at Hummingbird Ranch? I mean, I suspect, I mean, if you make the donation and you don't show up at the rally, I mean, you have to show up at the rally because you have to get uh, special um, access sure. so into Hummingbird Ranch and, and that we know that you're part of this event because we have a lot of people that try to piggyback. And so there's special things that we issue to know that you're part of the event. Uh, and the entry fee, the it's a donation. It's not that much, is it? No, it's uh, the donation is $600 per vehicle. And that $600 is donated to two really, really great nonprofits. I mean, this isn't for profit for the dealership. It's not profit for the sheriff's department or anything of that nature. So the two charities that we're going to donate that will benefit will be Ventura County Fire Department Widow and Orphan Fund. So all the widows and orphans of fallen firefighters. And also, secondly, to the Ventura County Search and Rescue East Division to support their foundation. And if you think about what the search and rescue teams endure, I mean, they're, they're phenomenal, incredible individuals. Absolutely. Uh, uh, fire season, uh, unfortunately, may be here. And uh, I've been noticing planes flying over starting around July 4th uh, throughout the Conejo Valley where we're both located. 
and uh, they're looking for for fire starts and i i think that's fabulous and i think that that uh, uh rusnik uh congratulations on that uh, rusnik of course is is one of the largest um i guess luxury dealers in la southern california tell us a little bit about rusnik well mr rusnak uh he he started in the car business 60 60 some odd years ago uh, oh, he's a person he he immigrated from europe when he landed stateside, he didn't speak a word of English. In fact, um, he just wrote and penned his first book. Um, and it's called uh, Both Hands on the Wheel. And you can actually buy that on Amazon now. But uh, I haven't read the book. I, I've bought it. And I'm going to take some time to read it. But the people that I have uh, been associated with and read it said it's a real phenomenal story. But so started with the first dealership in Pasadena first new car dealership in Pasadena, which was a, a Chrysler store, and then just really had a passion for for the sports cars and, you know, the cars in Europe and and kind of made his foundation. And now today, who he still operates, he's still our chief executive officer. Oh, my. And he's, he's in the office quite regularly, um, has 15 dealerships. That's a rags to riches true american story isn't it it, it really is and and, it, and giving back he's very philanthropic um uh rusnak auto group and paul rusnak um uh, is supporting children's hospital la quite a bit they mm -hmm. do a lot of that they support a lot of cancer research um he, he's very involved in giving back well, that's terrific. Again, I'm going to ask you one last time, uh, even though we have it up here, if you could tell us again, uh, if somebody wants to donate, if somebody wants to get involved, what is the website that they can go to uh, to uh, to join the rally coming up on uh, in early August, August 7th, I believe. August 7th, yes. Go to HealusRally.com. H e l u s r a l l y dot com. You can also follow uh, Portia Westlake on social media. If you're on Instagram or or Facebook, uh, there's notifications there. Uh, on the website is my email address. If you have further questions, you can click on my email, and I'll respond to the questions that you have um, regarding the event. Well, I really appreciate your uh, your joining us, Keith. Uh, our guest has been. Keith Goldberg, he's the GM, the general manager of Rusnick Westlake Porsche. Uh, is it Porsche or Porsche? I've heard it both ways. It's Porsche. Porsche. Okay. It's Porsche. Um, I have a Porsche. Yeah, I like that better than I have a porch, but never mind. That's uh, okay. You don't sell porches. So. You don't sell porches. Got it. Listen, I appreciate it. And as uh, you guys do more philanthropic things, let us know throughout the 15 dealerships. We're uh, we're here to help. We appreciate that. And we look forward to uh, seeing everybody at the rally. Good deal. All right. I'm Mark Allen. This is Late Night Help. We'll see you on the next episode.